We're going to sushi. We're gonna go pick that shit up right now. And then we are gonna go to the drive-in movie theater tonight. Oh, sick. Actually, it's kind of yeah. Brand new Hindu house. But, um, yeah. So we'll update you in a bit. Peace. Jane's driving really scares me. Oh my god. No, it doesn't. See, I like, we're, we're gonna rear end this guy. Dude, I'm like two car lengths behind him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Johnson. Imagine hitting that fire hydrant. Fucking water everywhere. Freezer? Can we take this all the way to Freezer, Ben? Hey, it looks like my uncle's motorhome. Tilly! Okay, roll for it. Damn, that thing is old. <laughs> Shit, that motherfucker's got my food. <laughs> Damn, thanks. I'm gonna eat all this. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm gonna eat all of it. Yo, what is up, guys? Just a little bit of an update. We are, uh... We're at the drive-in. <laughs> Finally, we're just waiting for our movie to start here. We got it all linked up through the deck. So it just comes through the truck speakers. But, uh, I don't know what movie this is. What movie is this, Jay? Um, I don't even know, but it looks, it looks pretty dope. So we're gonna, we're gonna finish the end of this and then, um, we have it. At what time? 10.15. Okay, so we'll check up with you guys in a bit. You recording? Yep. What's going on, YouTube? Just went to a uh, common store out in Port Kells. Got some new parts. Or not. Well, yeah, new parts, I would say. Um, belt cover gaskets, because these ones are really new. I was gonna, I honestly should have vlogged. Should have, I should have vlogged, here's the new one. I should have vlogged when I was there. Because this engine that I'm gonna show you, I'll show you like a pick like right here. So like, that picture that you've seen there is huge. It's the biggest, I don't even know what kind of engine it was. It's a big Cummins engine. And the whole way there, or no, before we even left, we're like, should we vlog it? We're like, yeah, let's vlog it, let's vlog it. Then we just forgot the camera. I don't know why. I think it's just so hot out that we just like had a brain fart and uh... We had a brain fart. We didn't... We didn't uh... We didn't... Oh, fuck. We didn't end up vlogging, which... It's really unfortunate because you would have seen the big engine that I seen and well you'll see it because you just seen it but it's a lot better in person. Now doing this is hard without taking this off. And I suggest cleaning all your, in here too, because I've noticed I've got some uh, some rat poop in there. I think a rat's been chilling on my motor this time. Keep an eye out for that. But these needed to be done so badly. More gauges coming. I want to just show them the boost gauge that we installed. So, here's the boost gauge. Camera will focus. It's by uh, Glow Shift. 
And the truck's probably running at about 25 pounds under load. That's what it's been averaging at. Basically, I'm gonna pull these. I've already done the first three. I think the back three are the worst. They're so far back here. But, make sure those don't come disconnected because those would be vacuum lines. Super easy to hook up a boost gauge to a 12 valve. All you have to do on this particular one, this is a non intercooled 12 valve, you just gotta pull these two bolts right here and then this bolt down here. That'll pull off this whole throttle linkage plate and then you can gain access to a little bolt back here. It looks like, an, like a bolt that goes into the block. It's back in here, you probably can't see it, but if you take this off, you will be able to see it. And it, when you take it off, there's a little hole back here where the uh, Cummins gives you like a factory boost port. So you can actually thread in the boost port that comes with the boost gauge into there. Super easy install. last one and we are done valve cover baskets oh, um uh funny thing I'm gonna buy these valve cover gaskets from Cummins and they give me a Cummins badge for free because I asked for two of them. Cause I was gonna put one right here, get rid of these badges and put one right here and one on the other side when I repaint the truck. But he only had one of them. So he gave it to me for free. You can kill the video now. Here's what they look like inside there. You can see there's some bird shit or something in there. Looks like some rat shit, but all new valve cover gaskets. It's gonna look really nice once this is all painted and this is repainted and the turbo's repainted and I got a new air intake and a new filter for fuck's sakes. But uh, yeah, got some trans temp gauge coming soon here as well as the RPM gauge. The boost gauge is kind of just taped in right here. It's kind of ghetto, but I bought the pillar mount that goes from here all the way up to here with the three gauges. Something about putting the uh, RPM gauge in the bottom because it will fit because it's a 52 millimeter. Same as this one. This one's gonna go up above that and then I'm gonna have the trans temp up above that but this truck's got a lot of work done to it. It's got a uh, new master cylinder, as well as new brakes in the back. Um, what else? New tires, new headlights. What else have I done to this thing? I've done transmission work, oil changes, filters, new water pump, um, new belt. I think cooling all the fluids and everything have been done. But uh, like and subscribe for more videos. Um, we got more, more, more stuff to come to this build. It's not done yet. So yeah, that's probably it for this video, guys. Um, another video that I'm going to be doing is this one right here. This ugly power steering box or whatever, she leaking.
like a sieve. So that's got to be done soon. So yeah, like and subscribe for more videos. Got a new camera, so the quality should be a lot better. See the inside of this thing if you guys have never seen it. Super mint. Nice new shiny tip. Shout out to Jason Johnson for doing the uh, uh, the new hangers in here. Weld nose in. It doesn't rattle anymore. So, till next time. Take it easy. Peace.